Hello everybody, uh, this is a tutorial on how to use the wireless multi-unit controller for D-Rail Valley Build 99. I've done some testing and discovered that there are only three engines that it will work on. The DE2, the DE6, and the DH4 are the only three engines that the that the wireless multi-unit controller will work with. And the purpose of the wireless multi-unit controller is to control the different engines in a train when they're not connected together like if you have an engine in the front a row of cars and then an engine in the rear or in the middle or all three so let's I've already got it installed on my DE2 and my DE6. Now I need to get one for my DH4 engine. So let's go to Machine Factory in town and purchase the third unit and the bracket for it and get it installed. Oh, kitty cat. But that's not what we're here for. Okay. Okay, we need the bracket. And the wireless multi unit. Ah, there it is. Control. Now, I have not tested this. If you need the multi-unit control license to use this, that would be in a Okay. Now, let's go back to City South. And let's install this onto this engine. Okay, now that's done. Let's go to uh, Harbor and Town.
where we have room to test. Okay. DE2 to DE6 and the DH4. Let's get these running. Get them going. We got that going. Set up the controllers. Work properly. And this, I'm going to use as my main lead engine. And it has to be set up to TX. Forward, this is if you're going forward or reverse. If your engine's facing forward, you put it in forward. If it's in reverse position, you put it in reverse. Then you've got your channel select, whatever channel you want. But we'll do one for you. And then you set your main engine to TX. Now, all your other engines has to be set to RX in whatever direction you got face in the same channel. Rx, forward, and one. And they're all synced. So get into your main engine. And as you can see, when you turn your lights on, they all three respond to where you set your lights. They all get set to it. And then, whatever you do on more, your main engine, your other engines will do too. <laughs> oh. Now, as a demonstration, going to set the slave train to reverse. As though they're facing the towards the rear of the train. So I'll set my main engine forward. And then when it goes forward, the other two will go backwards. So make sure you got it set correctly or you'll have a bad time. But that is how the multi-unit control wireless multi-unit controller works for your engines if you do not have them connected in as one to another if you got them separated by cars and you use the wireless multi-unit controller 
that is how it works. So let's switch these back to forward. Control all three engines. From one turn. Now like I said, I haven't tested it yet. Because I have to start a new game. And... Get some money up so I can buy them and test them on three different engines without the multi unit license to see if it's can be used that way. Well, I hope this has been informative and helpful so that those who are needing to understand how that. Thank you and goodbye.